physical settings, location, physiography and structure. Objectives In this chapter, we will discuss about geographical location of Telangana state, new districts in Telangana, location, boundaries, administrative divisions, physiography of Telangana state, structure of Telangana state, relief of Telangana state. The Telangana was a part of Hyderabad state from September 17, 1948 to November 1st, 1956. It was merged with Andhra state to form the Andhra Pradesh state. Before India became independent, it was included in the Hyderabad state which comprises two divisions namely Varangal and Medak. At the time, Telangana was governed by Nizams. Up to 2014, this Andhra Pradesh was divided into three prominent regions namely Telangana, Coastal Andhra and Rail Sima which comprising Hyderabad city was the capital of Andhra Pradesh. After a series of agitations and decades of long movement, Telangana state was formed by passing the AP state reorganization bill in 2014. Both the houses of parliament, Telangana became the 29th state of India on 2nd June 2014 with Hyderabad as a capital city. Telangana state is spread over 1,12,077 square kilometers and comprised of 10 districts, namely Adilabad, Nizamabad, Karimnagar, Medak, Khammam, Varangal, Nalgonda, Mehbubnagar and Hyderabad with 464 mandals as per the AP Reorganization Act 2014. Telangana state has seven mandals namely Kukunur, Palapadu, Bergampadu, Chittor, Kunnavaram, Veera Ramachandrapuram and Badrachalam from Khammam district to Andhra Pradesh in order to facilitate the Polavaram irrigation project. Among these seven mandals, five mandals are completely merged and the other two that is the Badrachalam and Begampadu has lost to the areas in the finally and forced 59 where existed in the Telangana state. New districts in Telangana state were created according to Districts Reorganization Act 1977. The reorganization of district was done based on population area and the number of families for administrative convenience and providing welfare and developmental programs to the people in an effective way. New districts were created on 11th October 2016 on the day of Vijayadashmi increasing the total number of districts in Telangana to 23 districts were reorganized three times in erstwhile Hyderabad state and this was applicable to Telangana region also as it was a part of Hyderabad state. Later, in order to fulfill the poll promises made by the KCR, during the elections in 2018, draft notification for two more districts namely Mulugu and Narayanapet were released on 31st December 2018, taking the total number of districts in Telangana state to 33. Location Telangana is the 29th state of India formed on 2nd June 2014 by bifurcation of erstwhile Andhra Pradesh state. Telangana state is located in the South India between 77 degrees 15 minutes to 81 degrees 19 minutes east longitude and 15 degrees 15 minutes to 19 degrees 51 minutes northern longitude. Before the reorganization of the districts, the average population of districts in Telangana was 35 lakhs. Telangana was the third place in terms of average population of the district in the country. After the reorganization of the district came up, the average population per district is 11.5 lakhs, 20% less than the national average of 14.5 lakhs. The state average mandal population is 63,600 which is 60% of the national average of 1.47 lakhs. Boundaries Telangana state is nearly a triangular with a plain Ganga, Pranahita, Godavari as a northern boundary while the rivers Krishna, Tungabhadra serve as a southern boundary. There is no prominent features to serve as the boundary is the best. Telangana is surrounded by the states of Maharashtra in the northwest, Chhattisgarh in the northeast, 
Karnataka and Maharashtra in west and Andhra Pradesh in the east-south. Most part of the Telangana region lies on the Deccan Plateau. Administrative Divisions Presently, Telangana state has 33 districts, 74 revenue divisions with 591 revenue models and 10,909 revenue villages. They are 13 municipal corporations, 128 municipalities and 12 Nagar Panchayat besides 32 Jilla Praja Parishads and 540 Mandal Praja Parishad have been functioning across the state. The state has a total of 12,769 Gram Panchayat and 10,434 census villages. Among census villages, 9,834 villages are inhabited villages and the rest of the 600 villages are uninhabited villages. Districts A district is an administrative division of an Indian state or territory. States and territories are subdivided into districts come which are headed by district collector. Telangana state has 33 districts namely Adilabad, Kumaram Beam, Manchiryal, Nirmal, Nizamabad, Kamareddi, Karimnagar, Rajana Sirsila, Jagityal, Pedapalli, Jayashankar Bhupalapalli, Parangal, Jangam, Mahabubnagar, Muluk, Medak, Sangareddi, Siddipet, Mechal Malkajgiri, Rangareddi, Vikarabad, Mahabubnagar, Jogulamba Gadwal, Vanaparthi, Nagakarnul, Narayana Pet, Yadadri Bhuvanagiri, Nalgonda, Surya Pet, Kammam, Badradri Kottagudam, Hyderabad. Very recently, Varangal Urban District is renamed as Hanmakonda District. In the Varangal Rural District, continued as Varangal District. According to area, Nalgonda is the biggest district followed by Badradri, Nagarkarnul, Rangareddi, while the smallest is descending order Hanmakonda, Merchal, Malkajgiri, and Hyderabad. Revenue Divisions The Revenue Division is an administrative division of the Telangana state. It is a geographical area covering 8 to 10 model revenue divisions. It is headed by a revenue divisional officer. A total of 73 revenue divisions are existed in Telangana state. Rangareddy district has the highest number of revenue divisions that is 5 and the lowest number is only 1 is existed in districts of Jayashankar, Jogulamba, Mehbubnagar, Kammam, Mulugu, Narayanupet, Vanapatti and Hanmakonda. Revenue Mandals Each district is further divided into sub-districts which are knownly different in different parts of the country. In Telangana, the state, it is called as Revenue Mandal. There are 591 Revenue Mandals in the state. The highest Revenue Mandals are noted with Nalgonda district that is 31 followed by Nizamabad that is 29 while the lowest number of mandals are existed in Jogulamba that is 12 and Jangam with 12 and Mulgu with 9 districts. Towns In urban areas the lowest primary administrative unit of administration is towns. The towns include started early counts and census towns as identified by the census organization on the basis of well-defined criteria. The strategy town is defined as all places with municipality corporation, containment board, etc. Whereas towns are defined based on the place that satisfy the minimum criteria of a minimum population of 5000, at least 75% of the male population is working in the non-agricultural sectors, the population density is at least 400 per square kilometers. Major cities of the state include Hyderabad, Varangal, Nizamabad, Nalgonda, Kammam and Karimnagar. There are a total of 158 towns in Telangana state. Among these towns, up to 42 towns are statutory towns and another 116 towns are census towns. Census village. In rural areas, 
The primary administrative unit of administration are villages. In the villages of different sizes in terms of the population depending upon the geography of an area availability of the land, water, etc. As per census 2011, there are 10,434 villages in the state, out of which 5.75% have been uninhabited villages. In the remaining, 9,834 9 villages are habited villages. Out of 33 districts, Sangareddi is having 572, Nalugonda 553, Adilabad 503 are having more than 500 villages. The highest number of villages are in Sangareddi district, while the lowest villages are present in Rajana Sisila. Revenue Villages Revenue Village is a small administration region in India, village with a defined borders. One revenue village may contain many hamlets. In Telangana state, a total of 10,434 revenue villages are there. The highest number of revenue villages are existed in Sangaredi and Rangaredi districts, while the lowest villages are distributed in more urbanized districts that is Hyderabad, Hanmakonda, Meerchal, etc. Excluding this, the lowest revenue villages are noted in Rajanna Sisila district. An appraisal of geographical background is essential in assessing the regional development in Telangana. This region is quite distinct in physiography, geology, drainage, vegetation, etc. The Telangana region consists of a penny plain developed on the Archean Nisus. Penny plain is a land having highly eroded flat hillocks scattered over the surface. It lies in the southern part of the Deccan Plateau, which is the part of the peninsular India. Most part of the region lies in the Deccan Plateau. The Deccan Plateau covers around 2,4882 square kilometers of area. Deccan Plateau is made up of vast sheets of massive granite rocks which effectively trapped rainwater. Physiographic Divisions On the basis of physiographical background, the Telangana state can be divided into three regions, Godavari Depression, Telangana Plateau, Krishnapuram and its micro regions have been divided into sub micro regions in the state. Godavari Depression The main river Godavari is flowing in the southeast direction. The other small rivers of this region are Sabari, Manneru, Pallar, Akheru, and Veera. The main soils of this region are red sandy, black clay, loamy clay, black cotton soil, and alluvial. Godavari Depression covers Jagityal, Rajanna Sisila, Karim Nagar, Pedapalli, Jai Shankar, Muluk, Varangal, Hanmakonda, Mehbobabad, Jangam, Khammam, and Badradri districts. Some of the hills have different names in the different part of the districts. They are called as Raki Guttalu in erstwhile Karim Nagar districts, Konga Guttalu in erstwhile Varangal districts, Raju Guttalu and Yellangada Padu in Khammam. Dolikutta from Venkatapuram Mandal is the highest mountain peak in the northern part of the Deccan Plateau. It is located in the border of Muluk district in Telangana and Bijapur district in Chhattisgarh. Telangana Plateau It is comprising the northeastern part of the Deccan Plateau. This plateau has an area of about 1,48,000 square kilometers in the north-south length of about 770 kilometers. And the Telangana is situated largely in an upland region of the Deccan Peninsula, India. Much of its surface area is occupied by the Telangana Plateau in the north and the Golconda Plateau in the south. And it is composed of Nisus rock. The average elevation of the plateau area is about 1600 feet or 500 meters. Higher in the west and the southwest and sloping downwards towards east and northeast. Drainage is dominated by the basin of Godavari River in the north and the Krishna River in the south. As a result of erosion, the topography of the plateau region consists of graded valleys with red sandy soil and isolated hills. Black soil is also found in certain parts of the area. The districts of Telangana, 
partly was mostly covered with the tropical dye deciduous type of forest which constitutes a half of the forest coverage of the state. In this region, the landers and related hill rock are scattered all over the surface. The Satmala hill is lying in this region. This region has developed on the arc in Mises, Krishna Piedmont. In the Piedmont, we can see the peneplain composed of basaltic lava between the Sangareti and Mehbubnagar in Telangana state at the height of 600 to 900 meters created the river Krishna flows along the southern border of the district. The river Dindi joins the river Krishna on the southern margin. The region is having a relating to rain and has developed predominantly. The forests of the region are dry deciduous scrubs and mainly located in Krishna Dindi forest track. The main soil of this region is red sandy. The Krishna Piedmont covers Nalgonda, Suryapet, Yadadri districts. Structure Telangana state, Khammam, polygonal compact, a block of soil has added advantage of being at most surrounded on its northeastern, southern and southwestern boundaries by the two great rivers Godavari and Krishna and the tributaries. Thus, it is a great Doyab rivers between, besides, it also has their tributaries spread out in the entire area of the state as well as planned irrigation and drainage projects. The main tributaries of Ganga are Penganga and Varda, the northern boundaries of the state. Its other tributaries, the Manjira, the Pranahita are also flowing. The river Krishna, the longest river of the South India, has the main tributaries Tungabhadra at the southern state boundary and Bhima, Dindi and the entirely within the southern part of the state. This extensively table land with an average elevation of 1250 feet above sea level slopes gradually from northwest to southeast. The characteristics physical feature of the Marathwada or the Trapans rock area or its later fatal plain of very productive black and rich soil relative of the moisture. These plains have gradual undulating outline in general. In the Archean relating areas of the Marathwada, the elevated tracks have stepped like essence, abrupt crags and cliffs and detached eminence is covered with forest growth which produces beautiful scenery. The characteristics of the Telangana or the Archean track are solitary herbal dome shaped granite hills and the prismatic fractured summit and prismatic fractured summit. The feather bed appearance of the mass of the rock and wild and fantastic tors and the Logan rocks, the spilled heaps of two or three, the surrounding areas cloud with bushwood and dotted with lakes and tanks present a much greater variety of scenic aspect than Marathwada. Based on the altitude, Telangana Plateau is divided into three categories. They are more than 600 meters mean sea level, 300 to 600 meters mean sea level and 150 to 300 meters mean sea level. Godavari River passes through below 150 meters altitude which is covered partly in the districts of Nirmal and Nizamabad. On the south, the Krishna and Tungabhadra Valley lies at the altitude of 300 to 450 meters below the ragged break of the slope down from the Mysore Plateau. To the northwest, the watershed between the river Bhima and Godavari is a great swelling up line reaching an altitude of 720 meters in the central places. The Gonwana appear in the Godavari basin while northern and western parts are covered by the Trapans lava. The Telangana is a long belt of penny plain mainly developed over the nice rocks in the north faulting has preserved a belt of Gondwana along the lower Godavari trough which is below 150 meters in altitude. The most general level lies between 480 to 800 meters altitude in this position. On the south, the Krishna and Tungabhadra valley lie at an altitude of 300 to 450 meters below the rug break or slope down from the Mysore plateau. The Godavari is a great spelling applied reaching an altitude of 720 meters in certain places. 
the upper carboniferous formation is spread over the parts of erstwhile Adilabad, Karim Nagar, Varangal and Kamam districts. Most of the soils in the state are red soil, red sandy loam, medium and deep black. On 2nd June 2014, Telangana came into existence as 29th state of India. At present, there are 33 districts in Telangana state. Telangana is located in the northern hemisphere. Physically, Telangana is located on the Deccan Plateau. It is a part of the Deccan Plateau and areas where it is spread on the Deccan Plateau is called Telangana Plateau. Another name of Telangana is Ratnagarbha. The territory of Telangana looks like isosceles triangle. Gondwana rock are present in the Telangana in Godavari Basin. Telangana region is located at an altitude of 480 meters to 600 meters above sea level. Telangana region can be divided into three regions based on topography. They are the Telangana Plateau, Godavari Basin and Krishna Piedmont.